Mike Hammond joins us on Panthers TV with Jeremiah's Chimney Systems. And Mike, we always start these the same way. Welcome to Nottingham. Thank you very much. Excited to be a part of it. And I guess the, the obvious first question is, what? why return to the Elite League at this stage and why return with the Nottingham Panthers? Um, good question. Uh, I just thought a return would be good. Um, something familiar for me, uh, especially with Nottingham. Spent a lot of time there with that Elite Series. Um, did the Olympic qualifier. I've been in and out of there a bunch of times playing games and it's obviously a very good spot, good fan base. Um, good city, good facility. Um, and then after talking with Gary, it seemed like it'd be the perfect fit. Um, there's obviously a lot of other teams I was talking to, but uh, I think after that conversation, it just all made sense. And I guess as one of those guys who's on that Team GB roster, and correct me if I'm wrong here, I imagine you get those calls every season about going back to the Elite League. What was it that mm -hmm. Gary told you that finally convinced you to to make that step? Because he is quite the salesman. Like, even when I talk to him, I get fired up sort of thing. <laughs> yeah. Um, it wasn't really just one thing. It was a long conversation. Um, obviously, he's he's in it to not just win, but he's in it to, for personal reasons to for himself to move forward and whatnot. And, uh, you know, like you need that ambition. You don't want to just be stale. And then uh, he he saw a lot in my game where he thinks he can help me personally and help me maybe get to the next level back again. And uh, I don't know. I just liked all the things he was saying. He's He needs a guy that to rely on. And that's kind of my game, you know, play a lot of minutes, come in there and be looked on heavily. So, um, yeah, I just – he just seemed like a really good guy. In fact, uh, you know, an English speaking coach will be nice. And so then maybe that was part of the change too. But uh, yeah, I mean, I'm excited to get going and uh, just see it all come together because obviously he's put a pretty good team together on paper, but uh, it's our it's our job now to go out there and get it done. And obviously when, when you've been in the Elite League before, it's been with Manchester and Glasgow and obviously every, every team sets out to win. But when you come to a team like Nottingham, the, the goals and the ambitions are different. Are you excited mm -hmm. for, that, for that challenge to be, you know, competing at that end of the table consistently throughout a season this year? Well, for that's sure. <laughs> yeah, exactly. For sure. I know that's been a few tough years there and some changes have been made, obviously, with Tasha coming in and Gary. But, uh, yeah, it's a team that should succeed every year. I mean, they got everything in place there, the facility, the fans. The, yeah, it's just top-notch organization, so they're expecting to win. Um, yeah, I'm excited to come in and uh, it's a lot more pressure. Obviously, you want to win that league title. So every game is more important. You know, you're not you can't just waste away a weekend, stuff like that. Um, I guess it I've kind of been in the situation before my second year in Manchester where we're actually a really good team. We're competing for the top. So uh, I'm excited to kind of have that again where every game was meaningful. And um, <clears throat> yeah, excited to hopefully get Nottingham back up there. And then it's been a lot of change in Nottingham over, over the summer, but there will be some familiar faces for you when you exactly. see Matthew Myers and Luke Ferrara. It must be nice to be yeah. you've been in the in the international locker room with them, but now you get to play with them on a domestic level. Yeah, exactly. Uh, two good guys. Um, Mizey reached out to me a little bit, as did uh, Feds. And yeah, I'm excited about that. I was surprised when Feds signed coming out of the Coventry, but, uh, you know, we get along quite well with GB. You know, he's one of my better buddies on the team, so. I'm excited to link up with him. And obviously, Mice, he's a good player, great guy, one of the best guys you'll meet. So, yeah, I'm excited. And then one of the things Gary always talks about is he likes to develop players. And you mentioned that at the start, you know, he talked about he could take mm -hmm. it to the next level. So, what, mm -hmm. what are your, because we spoke about team goals, is, you know, chasing that league title. What are your personal goals for this coming season? Um, Kind of hard, just, I guess, take it game by game, not overly put any statistic on what I want to prove just take it day by day I know my abilities um obviously I, I know I can get better in some areas and obviously Gary's done a lot of video on me so whatever he comes up with or he's critiques then I'm just going to listen because he's been around the game he's he's obviously very knowledgeable and uh obviously a guy I respect right off the bat here so um, whatever he thinks I can work on or you know, I'm sure we'll have another sit down when I come in and uh, yeah personally not a lot of goals because I know once the team success comes all that personal kind of stuff takes care of itself so just kind of trying to focus on the team and then obviously like we mentioned you played for Glasgow you played for Manchester you played for Coventry in the Elite Series how long mm -hmm. did it take you getting used to wearing that Panthers uniform uh, I don't know 
um, I think once you put it on, it's like any other team. I've been on so many teams over the years now, so it's uh, I don't think it'll take too much of an adjustment, but uh, be a little we, different at first for sure. It'd be nice to hear the fans in Nottingham cheer when you score rather than boo you. Yeah, exactly. It's a good fan base, so it'd be good to be on the other side of it for sure. And then it's about, I think we're less than three weeks away from training camp starting. Now, it might be exactly three weeks from training camp starting today. Like mm-hmm. The final question I've got for you is, you ready to go? Oh, yeah, always ready. Stay ready. All right, thanks for joining us, Mike. And we'll talk to you a lot throughout the season. And we'll see you very soon. Awesome. Thanks for having me. Appreciate it.